welcome to objective assessment of sickness in neonates using sonography and as you see this baby is intubated and you should keep the probe transversely in the neck transversely in the neck just this is a suprasternal notch just above the suprasternal notch you can see there the structures so what you are seeing the structures or i'll just can i have a pencil yeah see what you see here is a thyroid cartilage can you see that and this is the airway you can see there is a hyperechogenic area which is moving can you see that and you can also the reverberation of it can you see the reverberation of it and it is only single hyperechogenic area between the air and the mucosa mucosa and air interface you can see one thing hyperechogenic and it is actually you know it is reverberating and this is the endotracheal tube okay clear now to understand where exactly in the airway that's very important so for that this is actually the arch we are taken can you see that and what i have done actually i have taken this the footprint probe kept in the suprasternal space and it is actually i uh, kept sagittal you know sagittal plane can you see that marker facing up yes. and when i do that i'll get this shadow see this is the arch view can you see that this is the right pulmonary identification of right pulmonary artery is important this is the arch and this is the descending aorta can you see that probe there it is very near to the right pulmonary artery so what does it indicate right pulmonary artery indicates the bifurcation that is the level of carina so it should be above that so the endotracheal tube is just above the superior part of the right pulmonary artery okay i'll zoom it can you see that can you see the endotracheal tube there yes and for that you can move a bit you can see that movement happening you see it's happening so always better you keep just about 0.5 cm above this right pulmonary artery uh, make sure that it is not sitting at the right pulmonary artery because it will be at the level of carina now other way to make sure the endotracheal tube has not either entered the right or left bronchus it is in right position to look at the diaphragm movement how do we do the uh, diaphragm movement so the, you need to look at the excursion diaphragm this is the central tendon you can see and this is the diaphragm on either side just see both are equally moving i just uh, zoom it i just zoom it i acquire it i acquire it and you see how symmetrically they are moving up and down how do we trace it you, you this is the m mode you can see the m mode here i'll put the button m mode there then i'll put here on the right side you see look at the wave this is called excursion ascend descent ascend descent okay and i'll just record this similarly i'll do it on the other side also m mode i'll take the m mode here i'll put it on this graph okay. this is on the left side i'll put m mode is there any difference so both are symmetrical so that clearly indicates endotracheal tube is exactly in the place where the air is entering equally into both the lungs are you clear about this so what we learned today how to determine the uh, endotracheal tube on transverse plane and where to keep the probe second thing is how to appreciate right pulmonary artery and to determine whether the endotracheal tube is over that where it indicates at carina level the third thing the diaphragm excursion so we looked at where we kept the probe in the subcostal area that is just below the xiphistana okay and make sure that this equally you can see the movement this is how you determine the endotracheal tube tip position and whether it's placed properly or not thank you so much if you like it share and subscribe thank you so